So this is Windows 11, and this is a lightweight Windows 11 operating system. So it's called Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. So here's a description of it. It's intended for fixed function, special purpose devices that require long support life cycle of 10 years. The devices are typically found in industries including banking, quick service, restaurants, healthcare, hospitality, manufacturing, and retail. So here are some of the features. So this Windows 11 is based on Windows 11 Enterprise, so it can run on Windows 32, UWP, and other Windows applications. So here's a list of the key features. It's designed for devices that require long-term stability, receives only security updates, and it's typically supported for 10 years. I would leave a link on this site under the video description. So on this page, I'll click on this download Windows 11. So you will have to fill out this information in order to download the ISO file. So I'll fill out the information here. So I fill out the form and it takes me to this page. So there are two options here and this is the ISO file. You just have to click on it and you can download it. I already downloaded the ISO file. So I'm going to create the bootable USB drive. This is Rufus. I'll select the ISO file. On the partition scheme, I want to choose MBR. Okay, I'm going to boot up from the USB drive. Okay, I'll click next. I'm going to choose the first option, install Windows 11, and I'm going to check this box. I agree everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. I'll click accept. So the size of the hard drive in the computer is one terabyte. I'm going to delete this partition. I'll click install. Okay, so I got to choose the region. I'll select yes for the keyboard layout. So it's checking for updates. So this is the choose privacy settings for the device. I'll click accept. So I'll click on the start menu. I'll click on all apps. So these are all the apps that come with this Windows 11. There's Paint, there's Snipping Tool, Microsoft Edge, the Calculator, and that's it. So I'll right click the desktop again, click on Personalize. So this Windows is not activated, so this version of Windows requires a volume license. So I'll right click this PC, I'll click on properties, and as you can see, the Windows specifications, the edition, the version is 24H2. It also comes with remote desktop. So this is the hard drive.
So this is a one terabyte hard drive. And as you can see, the used space is only 24 gigs. So on the prerequisites, I'm gonna click on hardware and the minimum system requirements to install this Windows are listed here. So these are the minimum requirements. There's optional and preferred. So you can install this in an older machine. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.